I don't see how this could have happened. This is more than a logistical error. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying something like this would have had to be done with intent. But that's not the case, apparently. There were no souls taken, no recorded summonings. So how the here could this happen? <sighs> Where's the human? Okay. I'm gonna go have a discussion about this while you go check out the land. If there's anything or anyone there, do whatever you can to find some answers. <sighs> I cannot believe this. Hi. Yes. Nice to meet you as well. Now, tell me, are you aware of the situation you're in? Well, at least you know that you're dead. And do you know where you are? Yes, exactly. Hell. I've heard that line before. But in this case, it's true. You don't belong here. Yes, I believe you. I have your records. No murder or violence of any kind, really. No major thievery, except not paying back money you borrowed, but even that won't get you into hell. No harmful lies or general dickishness. Honestly, you lived a really boring life. Don't take it as an insult. It means that you shouldn't be here. But you were still sent here when you died. That's the snag. We, that is, the administrators, don't know for sure why you were sent here. But we do have a clue. Before you died, you purchased some land, is that correct? And... Where was that land, exactly? Where in Michigan? Yep, should have seen that one coming. What a bad joke. Well, you see, rather than having purchased land in Hell, Michigan, you bought land in actual Hell. I'd like to know how that happened, too. Who did you buy the land from? Stanley Knife? Really? You were so desperate to buy land in Michigan you fell for that obviously fake name? Oh, yes, because a driver's license is impossible to fake. Regardless, you bought the land and got the deed and all that, right? Okay, so that makes you a landowner. In hell. That is probably why you were sent here. I don't think heaven is itching to give a spot to someone that already has their place in hell pre-booked. Mistake or not, it is what it is. You can't leave if that's the case. Okay, first of all, the eternal torment thing is over-exaggerated. We still work reasonable hours, it's not an around-the-clock thing. Second of all, your torment is not... guaranteed. There's not much point in tormenting someone who doesn't belong here. Although, that wouldn't stop some demons. But the real issue is... You own land here. Which might technically make you a citizen. Well, anyone who owns land here is a citizen of hell. But that's only because no one has ever moved here before. So we're not sure how the law covers this. If you're a citizen, you can't be subject to hell's torture. But you're human. So that complicates things. 
We've been looking through centuries worth of legal documentation, and we're coming up empty. Worst case scenario, we might have to kick you out to become a ghost back in the living world. I said we might have to. Depending on what we find in the books, we might not be allowed to do that either. This is kind of unprecedented, if you haven't noticed. As for the land you bought, we're looking into it. If there's some sort of fraud going on here and someone else actually owns it, we might be able to get you out of here. We don't even know if there's anything built there. It could just be forest for all we know. Hold up, I have to take this. Oh, good. Please tell me you found something. You're kidding, there's a house there? Are you serious? It belonged to that guy? This is too far a grift, even for him. He left a note? That smug prick. No, you know what? This is stupid. If that asshat wants to scam his way to the living world, I say we let him, and leave him with no place to come back to when his luck runs out. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. Why not? Shake things up a little. The human can't be any worse than he was. Fine, we'll talk it over when you get back. But I'm putting the motion forward. Sure. Bye. Okay. So. Turns out Mr. Stanley Knife was a demon. But I could have guessed that. He's, uh, kinda well known for pulling stunts like this. Looks like he sold you his property using a certain loophole. And then he used your death to swap spots and get to the living world. Uh, maybe. How'd you die again? Yeah, that was definitely him then. Looks like he scammed you out of Michigan real estate and your life. Calm down, I'm getting to that. Here's what we're gonna do. Or at least my proposal for it. Which better not get turned down, or I swear to... Right, right. So, I'm thinking... Since you do... legally own the land, and the house on it, you have an official residence in Hell. Which, as far as I'm concerned, should be enough to call you a citizen. Oh, I know it'll likely be a bit more complicated than that, but I don't think too many demons would be against it, and the ones for it would be... very vocal. Well, with the changing times, there's been a growing trend of, uh... human fans? I don't know what term they like to go by, but a lot of demons are starting to think humans are... cool. I think it's mostly because they like the films you guys make. But either way, a few demons would be very excited to have a human actually living here instead of being tormented here. So at the very least, you'd have no trouble making friends. I can see you're hesitant, but there's really no other option. Heaven definitely won't have you, and you don't want to stay where the damned humans are. At least say you want to stay here for my proposal. You can figure out what your plan is after you've got a stable home. And after I've cleared up this legal nightmare. That's what I want to hear. Now, let's go check out your new house, alright? God, I remember when I was younger, Hell, Michigan was such a meme. Just endless jokes of, I'm gonna buy land there so I can say I've got my very own spot in hell. God, me and all my friends were so unfunny. <laughs> Shout out to the dual wielder for the coffee donation. Thank you.